Now what I'd like to do, I'd like this to be the foundation for my EDP dot, a larger four rod dot. So I'm going to warm it, make sure that it's nice and balanced. It's not molten though. And I'm gonna come away. I'm gonna hold my barbecue mashers. And notice that I release these two fingers when I press because sometimes if you don't, you'll, you'll force the glass left and right and throw it out of balance, okay? And a couple of things. One, so now, hopefully you'll see this. Two, 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 there's a flash. Um, the, there's a, that cold tool to the hot glass leaves behind a, uh, what they call a chill mark, and it's like a series of circles. It's actually pretty handy if I wanted to, if I wanted to make a, a, a small dot right in the center. The center is actually marked for me by that, that chill mark. So that's handy. I'm not going to do that in this case right now anyway. But um, the chill marks, generally what I like to do is wipe them off with the flame. So you're unless you're using it as a guide for a dot you'd be coming up and kind of using the flame to to wipe off the chill marks that kind of flame anneals but it also makes the bead a little shinier um, and then this barbecue masher they call them squisher this one is a fixed height so that it can't get any it's, uh, I'm going to be able to use that for each of the, the, the beads that I flatten, and they'll always be at the same height. So that's good for, um, it helps the jewelry, the beads sit nicely on the piece so that they're all the same height. Uh, if you, if you, this one, I always have two because sometimes instead of a fixed height, I want to be able to squish it as much as I want. However, I never want to squish it so much that, that I, I create a uh, super thin amount of glass at the top, above and, and below the, the bead hole, because that can really make for a, um, a, a break point. So when you squish, and when I squish, I hold it up and squish it and watch how much I'm squishing, squishing because I don't want to create a bead that's going to break. So always leave yourself you know, enough room. And then flame anneal, and then, then the kiln anneal, you know, and that'll give you the, the durability.